Hi there, Stephanie from Forking Up Teacher. What I'm going to talk to you about today is my cooking methods posters. So I use these in my classroom. Um, I laminate them and I have them on a bright yellow paper and I put them up on my wall. And then if I need to, I will pull them down to like talk about a certain cooking method. Um, but they are up there for students to see um, for vocabulary and language and to ask questions about kind of like a bulletin board although i have really large cinder block walls so i don't actually have a cork board that i put them on um but they're great they're a black and white um drawing so they're very crisp um there's the word for each of them so this is roast so that's a turkey let me just work on going down here this one is boil so you can see there's the large bubbles to indicate boiling with the steam rising off the top the next one is a saute pan and it's sauteing right so there's like it's trying to show like vegetables and movement a little bit with the saute pan i've got steaming here so you can see the second inset on the top there with the perforations some asparagus and some steam coming up through it um, and these are great because you can talk about each picture and what's happening. Like, okay, we're baking cookies. We're not roasting cookies. You know, these are on a tray. There's parchment. You know, it's an leavening action, all this kind of stuff, right? So this one is pan fry. So there's four individual chickens in here showing a little bit of browning on the one side. Um, and then deep fry. So this is like, it's a, it's a pot, um, showing French fries. And then with a spider going in talking about deep frying, uh, this next one is sous vide. So there's a piece of meat inside is a black bag, um, with the thermometer there going into the liquids for that. Then I've got poach. So there is an egg in a like a, a ladle or a spoon that's being like lifted out of the water. Um, you can see a little bit of bubble action in the water showing that there's some heat. It's not just like cold water. We've got broil. So we've got the, um, like whether it's in a salamander or something that's in an oven, right? Whatever the students are familiar with, but showing that there's some cheese that's melting. So it's a top down heat for the broil. Um, I've got grill. We've got some meat with the grill marks on the meat and showing the grill that it's on um, and that process of like um, a lower heat coming up through the food and of course the heated rods. Then we've got braise. So with braise we see the browning on top of the meat so it was like because braise is a combination right so it was kind of pan fried in the pot first and then the liquid was added and it's not completely submerged. It's just like half submerged in the liquid. So it's not like a soup. It's, um, yeah, it's just a braise. So the, the liquid comes about halfway up the large um, item. And then we've got stew. Um, and so this is showing like a, one of the taller, more cylindrical pots that you might be more likely to stew in. Um, and a variety of like vegetable items in the liquid um showing that it's it's uh like a like a liquid based liquid based cooking method with um the different pieces of, of vegetables in there i think these are leeks then we've got simmer so simmer is another wet cooking method and then we've got small bubbles cresting on the top of the pot not the large ones right like with boil and then i think i think that's it awesome so those are the cooking method posters i have them up in my classroom um i bring them i kind of grab them to teach on them as needed as we go through the different um, cooking methods in the classroom but again like i said i always have mine up on the wall just for vocabulary is like a word wall essentially a pic word wall with pictures agreed